Hello and welcome to This Aunt is True. My name is Jakob Hack, I'm your host and you're watching a hack vlog. This is another vlog where I'm referencing this episode that I made about compressor basics. So I'm showing you how to use compressors and telling you why you should use them. What I'm doing here is I'm expanding on that episode by talking about stuff that revolves around that topic, compressing. And one of those things are limiters versus compressors. Now you couldn't do limiting without a compressor. A limiter is basically a compressor with a very very high ratio rating. So you're basically cutting off and squashing peaks. A compressor has a lower ratio. You can actually leave more of the dynamics inside your audio. And that is basically it. When you want to limit stuff, you want to have a really high ratio so you can really cut off, hacksaw off the peaks, squashing them into infinity. Now there is a difference on how you use the threshold setting when using a limiter. Usually you want the threshold being set like very, very high. So it's only touching the highest peaks and leaving the rest of the dynamics in your audio untouched. But with a compressor, it's the reverse. So you want the threshold to be lower. Then you understand why you have to have a lower ratio setting. Because what I did in this video, I used a very high ratio setting. So I was basically brick wall compressing it. And that's very, very close to what a limiter does. Only when you bring down the threshold, you, you're squashing the audio like madness. And what you end up with when you export that is a file that looks like you can't even see any dynamics in it. It's just like a big piece of filled out sound. So now you know a little bit more about limiting versus compressing. As usual, Doug Woods, Colin Sweeney and me, Jakob Hack at thesoundestroom.com wishes you a very productive week. Now go finger your surfaces and have lots of fun doing it.